Hey, what's up guys? This is Millie here and keeping the theme alive for this week, which was horror movies, since I reviewed The Conjuring on Monday, I decided I would make a checklist on horror movies for all you people and then maybe these horror movies won't be as scary at all. So despite all the bad hair that has not been washed in years, the people popping out of TVs, random phone calls, and dirty faces, etc. We at some point feel brave enough to watch a horror movie. Just for the sake of it, regardless of what the consequences may be. I'm not sure what's more scary, the horror movie itself, or the horror movie that begins or ends with the phrase, based on a true story. So as I mentioned, I will make a checklist of everything a horror movie entails so that next time that you're watching a horror movie, you could have this checklist and keep ticking them and actually not pay attention to what's actually going on so that, you know, your nightmares are reduced dramatically. Number one, the house. Horror movies always revolve around a haunted house. There are exceptions when it's the woods that are haunted but usually it's a house. This house is always at an isolated location. There is nothing in the vicinity of the house for at least a decent amount of distance. There is nothing, no one, no people, nothing. They need to make sure that if this family is in need of help, no one can get to them. Please note, this house will always be a double story house. Number two, the people. Usually it's, you know, a couple who are taking some time off from their busy schedule, you know, to have some romantic time away or whatever. Or it could at some point be, you know, an entire family that's just going on vacation together. Number three, the situation. Now, on the day this evil person or ghost or soul or whatever decides to make an appearance, the girl is always home alone whilst the guy has gone to the store to pick up a few supplies and it's raining really heavily and because of that there is a huge traffic and the guy is taking longer than usual to get home so as his moral duty he feels he needs to let his wife know that or wife or girlfriend know that he's gonna be a bit late so he picks his phone up starts dialing her number and calls her and he starts talking to her when suddenly the phone disconnects okay I think I added that extra whatever anywho the phone disconnects and there's a sudden gust of wind and the girl realizes that there's something or someone just wandering about the house. She will go really pale and she'll just walk around the house calling out a name and just so you know by this time there's been a power cut as well so the entire house is dark. So she's probably just going around calling out names for five minutes when BAM! the evil person appears. Begin screaming. Number four, the girl's attempt at surviving. Now, <clears throat> after the screaming has begun and she has confirmed that there is something lurking around the house, she will get this genius idea of running upstairs from where she cannot escape whatsoever. She will run upstairs and she will lock herself in a room. Sometimes this is the bathroom, like in the ring it was the bathroom, but it can just be any room. By this point, half the movie is finished. Depending on the consequence of the girl in the first half of the movie, the second half of the movie is based on that. So number five, the consequence of the girl is killed. Now the guy arrives home just after the killing is done. Why? because the phone disconnected abruptly and he needs to make sure everything is fine. Thus begins him calling out names again and then suddenly finding her lying dead in the room that she locked herself in. And thus begins the police investigation. One. Number six, the consequence if the girl survives the attack. Remember one thing, you do not survive the attack and nobody got time for that. If, you, if the girl is alive, it means she is possessed. You will realize that the girl is possessed because she is most likely wearing weird colored contact lenses. 
And by weird, I mean usually yellow or this really odd shade of green. So if she's wearing either of those two coloured contacts, she is possessed. She will then torture the guy for the next 30 minutes of the movie, after which he will realise that he, she is possessed. And therefore the movie will end with the guy arranging for an exorcism to take place and the girl, you know, whatever, surviving the exorcism and the couple swearing to never return to that place on a holiday ever again. If keeping up with this checklist doesn't divert your mind from all the gory stuff that's going on on screen, then just imagine the camera crew, well actually the cast and crew of the movie, filming those scenes. It would have been epically funny. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave some of, some of your tips on surviving horror movies down in the description, down in the comments below, not the description, sorry, in the comments below. My social media links are in the description below. I release videos every Monday and every Wednesday, so I will see you next time.